Hi, this is Susan Canfield with SueStanfield.com. Thanks for stopping by today. I wanted to share with you a fun little Christmas gift card holder. Uh, we've got Mrs. Claus's dress here. It says, Be Very Merry. And when you open it up, inside we've got a spot for a gift card where you can just slide it in the slot. So let me walk through how you can make this fun little project. Let's start with our gift card holder itself. So we're going to use the pop and cuts die and the biggest advantage to using the pop and cuts die is it cuts this little slit and it cuts the the um, rounded corners that go into the slits. So it's a built-in closure which is great for a project like this. So the Pop and Cuts die is one of our XL dies, and it works in the Big Shot. Let's see if I can show you the whole length of it so you can see the rounded edge there, and then the other end is the rounded corners. You can see I've placed a piece of tape at each end. That just shows me where, um, where the end of it is because my cardstock will just fit in there when I use four and a quarter by 11. So um, I want to get that whole piece on there and those will help me. I like to push it near this end because I want to make sure I don't lose any of that curve. I'm okay with uh, shaving off a little of the bottom here, but I for sure want to make sure I get my curve in up here. So I have a piece of real red cardstock that I cut with this die. And um, the, this particular die does not add any scores, so you can, uh, which adds to the versatility of the die, so you can do lots of different things. I'm going to pick up my uh, Simply Scored scoring tool here, and I'm going to show you how I scored this. So I laid it in across the top um, of my Simply Scored the long way with the curved out at this side. And I'm scoring it at 3.5, 5.5, and, and, and 7.5 and inches. And so once you've got that scored, set that aside, and you're going to fold it. And basically you're folding it into a, what I call a W shape. So there's our W. And this is the part where we're going to do the slot for the gift card holder. So let's do that next. To do our slot, we're going to use the word window punch, and we're going to do it folded in half. So I've got this folded in half. And I've got my word window. I'm going to slide it in um, and we're going to line up to the edge of the cardstock. So I've got the punch lined up to the edge of the cardstock and I'm going to slide it so that the cardstock is about halfway into the, my uh, word window slot there. And punch that out. Now I'm going to go to the other side and line up the edge of my punch again to this edge. And again, I'm looking at halfway across there, and I'm going to punch that out. And now I have this one little piece in the middle, and I'm just going to nip that out. So you want to slide it in and just chunk that piece out. So there you've got your slot for your gift card holder. We're going to go in with some sticky strip, and we're going to add sticky strip here, here, and a little piece here that's just going to keep the gift card from falling out. So you're going to seal that closed and then because of the slots the front is very easy to open and close by just sliding it into the the slots for closure. So let's talk about the Mrs. Claus dress and how we make that. We're going to use our dress up framelit um, dies to make the dress and the collar is made using the one and a quarter scallop circle punch so that's right here. Got my little parts and pieces there. There you can see it. So the one and a quarter scallop in inch punch, I punched it out of Whisper White. Got one done here. And I'm just going to put this together. So let me show you how that works. You want to do your assembly on this part before you do the cutting of the dress. So I have a piece of real red cardstock here. And I have a smaller piece of white. So the smaller piece of white is for that uh, bottom part of the dress. So we're going to cut that at the same time. And then we're going to cut, uh, we'll go ahead and place our scallop on there. And I'm going to put a little adhesive on the scallop. I don't want to put adhesive in the middle. I want some adhesive here and here because when I cut it, 
I'm going to be cutting out the middle. So if there's no adhesive here or here, that collar is just going to fall right off the dress. So I'm going to take my snail adhesive and I'm going to add a little bit of adhesive to the outside edges of my piece, just like so. And I have one of my dog's hairs in there. <clears throat> Let's take that out. There we go. So I've got just a little bit of adhesive. I don't know if you can see that on each side. And I'm going to stick that on. Um, I like to have six scallops above the top of my cardstock. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Oops, I got seven. Can't count today. There we go. So I've got six, six scallops above. So it's just a little bit uh, more below than above. And now I'm going to I'll just take this piece away here. And I've got my magnetic platform and my Big Shot ready to go. Set my snail aside. And I'm going to take my dress up framelits. Now the dress up framelit comes with uh, two different dresses and the dress form. I like to use this form for this project. So I'm going to lay my piece on there. I want just the lower portion of the dress in white and then I want the upper portion. So I'm just going to um, place that just like so. And let's grab our top plate and we will send that through. So I've got my paper snips here and I'm going to cut the bottom of the dress I'm going to just cut it off. So what I did is I just followed along. I did cut it freehand, but I sort of copied the curves that were on the pre-cut part, if that makes sense. Just like so. So my cutout dress, and then when I attach this piece behind it, that gives me that little fur trim at the bottom. So let me show you how to do the belt. The belt, I cut a one quarter inch piece of basic black and I'm going to use my two-way glue pen here to glue that on. The snail is just not, it's a little bit wider than the belt so it's a little easier to use the two-way glue I think on these little pieces. And then we're going to add some silver glimmer. And when you're working with the silver glimmer, the two-way glue pen is a good idea as well. So I've got a little square of, two, of uh, silver glimmer here. This is 3 eighths by 3 eighths. The two-way glue is called two-way glue because when it dries, it dries um, as a temper works as a temporary adhesive but I usually just use it uh, the initial way, which is to glue it on uh, to the full adhesive. So I've got a one quarter inch by one quarter inch little black square that is going to make my belt. And again, there's not a lot of things that want to stick to Silver Glimmer. Um, snail does not stick very well and, and uh, glue dots work so-so. A uh, two-way glue pen or a liquid glue is really your best bet with that uh, silver glimmer. So to center that in the middle, and there you've got your uh, your Mrs. Claus dress ready to go. So then we can just add that to the other piece to form our gift card holder. I use the uh, neutral stack in the basic black for my background, a fun polka dot. And then again, the one and a quarter inch scallop is used here with the one inch circle punch. And the Be Very Merry is a greeting that is in our holiday catalog. Thanks for stopping by today. I hope you enjoyed this fun little gift card holder. For more creative inspiration, stop by at SueStampfield.com. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.